is given that the product of three consecutive whole numbers is 1, 2, 1, 4, 4. So since it's product, so if we break them up into the individual numbers itself, it's going to be factors of 1, 2, 1, 4, 4. So we'll find out all the factors of 1, 2, 1, 4, 4 using prime number factorization so that we can see how many factors can be used to form these three consecutive numbers. So we start from the smallest prime number, 2. Now you just need to keep dividing until you cannot divide by 2 anymore. Then you move on to the next prime number which is 3. Now we have stopped at this odd number, so we know that it's not divisible by 2 anymore. So we can move on to 3. So you can also check by the divisibility rule of 3, which is the sum of digits. So 7 plus 5, which gives us 12, plus 9, which gives us 21. So 21 is divisible by 3, so that means this will be divisible by 3. So since 3 is the next prime number, so we start off with 3. This will give us 253. Now 253 using the sum of digits again, 2 plus 5 plus 3 is 10. So 10 cannot divide by 3, so we will not use 3 anymore. So the next prime number is 5. Now we know that the rule of 5 is that the last digit must be 5 or 0, but we cannot divide this by 5 because this is not 5 or 0. So we look at the next prime number which is 7. So working out 7 also cannot. So the next prime number will be 11. Now this is also a rule that the tens for a 3 digit number, the tens place digit, there is notice that it's actually the sum of the hundreds place and the ones place. So it's divisible by 11. So the rule of divisibility of 11 is actually the difference between the odd place digits and the even place digits which gives us zero because three plus five minus three plus, sorry three plus two minus five gives us zero. So divided by eleven I will simply get twenty three. So we can rewrite this as two times two times two times two times three times eleven times twenty three. Now notice that twenty three is a prime number so if it's a prime number, that means it cannot be simplified into smaller numbers or smaller factor. So one of the number must be 23. But we do not know whether 23 is in the smallest among these three consecutive whole numbers or the largest or just the average. So we need to look at more clues given in the factors here in the prime factorization. So we look at 11. Now since they are consecutive, the number beside 23 cannot be 11 because the difference is 12. It's too big. So we look into multiples of 11 close to 23 so we will logically use 22 so if this is taken up i will use 11 with a 2 so that this factor will give me 22 so 22 is a consecutive number to 23 they are just next to each other so we have found two numbers so what could the last number be it will just be the remaining factors when they are multiplied all together. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And this will give us 24. So we have found the three numbers. 22 times 23 times 24 will be equals to 12144. Following the 
question. So the sum would just be 22 plus 23 plus 24. The average is also the middle for consecutive numbers. So the average is 23. So there are three numbers, so we just take 23 times 3. Okay, we can also do it this way, 23 times 3. So the answer will be 69.